Miss Keen says. Part four. Coming through. The reinforcements have arrived. And we brought food. Where should we put it? Ah, thank you so much for your help, ladies. Of course, what's family for? So, how's the quinceanera doing? Getting ready as we speak. Ouch! If you stopped moving so much, it wouldn't hurt. Now stay still. I know, I know, but I have to finish this before we go. I won't have time later tonight to... With all the back-to-back -back ceremonies... Listen, we have to head out in an hour, and Mommy will kill me if we aren't ready by then. Fine, you can finish at it after we're done. And done, now for, and done, now for your makeup. What I've been dreading. Just because you don't like to embrace your feminine side, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy wearing makeup. As long as you don't overdo it, none of that smoky eye stuff. Fine, fine. How's going in here? Love the hair. Carmen, you may be a natural at this. Good job. Thanks. Here are your dresses and the flats for when you're done. Here we go. The pink madness begins. Well, we know how much you hate pink, so... We actually sold your pink dress. And you are... Tia modified your abuelita's quince dress. What do you think? I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. It's the least I could do. I'm happy you like it. Ugh, I just finished doing my makeup too. Well then, let's get you in, in the dress and finish up. We have to be at the church in an hour. I found the shawl. Let's do this. Get your cameras ready. She's coming out. Bold choice for the color of the dress. It looks like she, it's for a funeral. Well, I think it looks pretty. I like it, too. All right, people, we have a ceremony to catch in ten minutes. Let's go. Why can't we walk there? It's nearby. And get dirt from the road on your dress? <laughs> I don't think so. Don't worry about the rest of the decorations. The neighbors are going to help us out while you're at church. Thank you, cousin. And finally, an applause for the quinceanera. All right, now let's party. You and Carmen are going back home to get ready. The damas and chambalanes are at the house ready. Chapter 9. My quince dress. I love it. Some people arrived while you were at church. Thank you for all, all for coming to this joyous event. Tonight we are here with the lovely Gutierrez family who have who are presenting their princess for her quince. You can do this. You can do it. Breathe. Places everyone, grab your partner. And remember to smile. You got this, cousin. Make room on the dance floor. We're about to begin the ceremony. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present our Miss Quince of the night. Suyapa Yizel Gutierrez. And we will begin the night of, with the crowning and the quinceanera by her mother, Ana Zapata Gutierrez. and a gift from her older sister, Carmen Cristina Gutierrez. And next, we have the presentation of The Last Doll. As a part of the tradition to, and 
to symbolize passing the torch, the quinceanera will get for the last doll to her sister, Esther. Beep. She's yours now. And now for the shoe ceremony, which will be performed by the quinceanera father, Ricardo Gutierrez. Here come the heels. My feet are going to hurt. Carmen thought you would like these. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the daughter and father dance. I'm very proud of you going through all this. And now the quinceanera will dance uh, with her mother. Let's give it up for them. You like the boots? They're different, but look at different. Round of applause for the quinceanera and her parents. And now our dramas, Damas and Ambelanes will accompany the quinceanera in a waltz. Give it up for the wonderful dancers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the final part of the ceremony. In just a moment, the quinceanera will begin the candle ceremony. See, Appa, where did you put your speech? We've been so busy preparing for the party, I forgot to write it. So yeah, but it's, most, it's the most important part of the ceremony. You're going to have to make something up. Do you think she'll be able to do it? We just we should just serve the food then. No, we have to do the quince correctly. With, we need to do the candles. Well, uh, should we get ready, get started? In a minute! The gringa can speak Spanish? I'm getting hungry. I don't know about the black dress. Where's the food? Is it over already? Breathe in, breathe out. Stand up straight. Arms behind your back, chest out. Take a deep breath while you count to five in your head. Wiggle your toes. I am Suyapa Yisel Gutierrez, and I don't give up about what people say or think about me. Shush, the kids in here are speaking. Are you ready, Suyapa? Hi, h hi, um, I wanted to thank everyone for coming to my quince tonight. I, uh, want to take this moment to present these candles. So, um, here we go. This is... This first candle is for this first candle is for mom. We fight a lot, but she always look she's always looking out for me. The next candle is my dad. He worked so hard and this quince wouldn't have been possible without him. The this one is for my older sister Carmen. I want to be confident like her. This one is for my little sister Esther, my favorite snack buddy. And last but not least, This last one goes to someone very special. Someone who... Fire! Water! Need water! See up, are you okay? And this is going to be the last one goes out to my abuela Rita. She was my role model. I want to be an artist just like her. Whenever I feel sad... Felt sad. She always knew what to do to, to make me feel better. That was like her superpower. And because of her, I learned how to be braver and embrace my true colors. I'm going to miss her, but I know she's al she'll always be with us. So I dedicate this last candle to my, and this quince to my abuela, Margarita Chalazada. And a toast to my mother and to Miss Quince. Borita. Woo, champagne. Don't get too excited. I put apple juice in the kids' cups. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for dinner. Sit back, relax, and make room on the dance floor. Aw, oh, man. Good job on that speech. Your Spanish was almost as perfect as mine. Say up, I'm so proud of you. Your speech was beautiful. 
I can't believe how much you've grown these past few weeks. You're full of surprises. Well, now that she's a young lady, how about we let Sue hang out with her friends on her own? I know I can't be harsh only on you girls, but that was how I was raised. I can try to be less intense, old school, scary, less strict. You three are wonderful daughters, and I wouldn't change that for the world. I love you, girls. We love you, too. Love you, Mommy. You'll, you mean you'll behave better? Hey, how about a compromise? You can be less strict, and we'll behave better. Just promise me you won't do anything crazy or illegal. Hmm, we'll see. Carmen! Just kidding, Ma. Oh, so yep, I have one last surprise. Carmen, grab the one side of the dress and don't let it fall onto the ground. Huh? Whoa, no wonder you made me wear leggings. That's so cool. Okay, go enjoy your party. Thanks, this is actually a really cool skirt. So yep, uh, so yep I didn't know you, you made art. This... Little book it, booklet is so beautiful. It's a strange quince souvenir, but it's nice. You're weird, just like your grandmother. Thank you. Siapa, come dance with us. But I don't know how to dance. Who cares? We're going to have fun. Okay, let's do it. Chapter 10. My quince is finally over, and I had a blast. A few days later. Oh, seeing you girls leave me breaks my heart every time. Don't make us go. We're going to miss you so much. I don't want to go. It's okay, Miha. We'll see you next year. I'd like that. I'm going to miss you, Prima. Thanks for giving me your manga. Adios. I'm sorry they're not in better shape, but I hope you like them. Okay, family. Time to rip the band-aid. Our flight is leaving soon. You must be excited to get home and hang out with your friends. Will I be allowed to do that? Well, I trust you girls, and I need to be more relaxed with my rules. So, yes, you may. I'm sorry you can't make it to camp this year. But I'll let you go next year. That's okay. I'm also looking forward to coming to Honduras again. It was fun. Do you think you'll have your comic assignment ready in time for the school year? Yeah, I think so. My summer travel log. The end. My summer travel log. Sue, we'll miss you this summer. Summer, the one thing I really wanted to do this summer was go camping with my friends. Instead, I ended up traveling to Honduras with my family. And I thought I wasn't going to do anything fun. I'm so bored. But to my surprise, my vacation was full of adventures, like learning how to dance the waltz. L Ouch. My cousin. Getting chased by a turkey, my little sister, turkey's baby. Eating really tasty snacks, encountering El Gruton, and getting lice. Overall, I had the best time with my abuela Rita. Although I don't speak Spanish fluently like my sister and my mom, Abuelita understood me really well. She was weird like me, and she didn't want to change that. The, she's the reason why I like art today. She taught me how to embrace my weirdness and let it shine because, bright in my own little way. We will miss you, Abuelita, for, from one star to another. You will always be loved. Thank you for making my last summer with you special. 
See you by Yisel Gutierrez. The end. Like and subscribe for more books.